new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today we are reacting to first debut album of XXX Tentacion 17. He's only 19 years old and like <laughs> he's been already in jail and uh, stuff like that. He got out and he was knocked in San Diego. In, I live in San Diego right now. We are filming in San Diego. Uh, I thought that our crowd is more um, you know, delicate is more not not aggressive, but I guess I was wrong. You know, like I don't know why it happened, but San Diego should be a good city. <laughs> San Diego should be a good city. I don't know why it happened. Anyway, XXX Tentacion got knocked out as well, but like it ain't matter because we're here for the music. Uh, I know, of course, uh, people are more into his personality and uh, they love his music, of course. But I'm just like. His personality plays a big role, you know, like what he does, he's shady as fuck and like stuff like that, dark and all this stuff. I'm not a fan of it, you know, like I'm a completely uh, nice, good guy and stuff like that. <laughs> so, but uh, I love hip hop and I just want to support new artists and like I just want to see uh, why people love it, you know. As a music reviewer, I should be open minded to everything, new sounds. I, like unfortunately i didn't like his older stuff like maybe just maybe like that uh popular song look at me is okay song when you listen to it but apart from that i'm, I'm not a fan of his work however as i said let's check it out and see how so maybe he came out with something dope and uh, maybe he has something conceptual finally going on uh, because he was throwing at us like mixtape after mixtape i don't know why <laughs> like so much uh, work he has done but this one should be good finally, this one should be like more focused, you know, because it's his first album. I see like 11 tracks only, not 23, <laughs> so it's good, you know, 11 tracks, should be compact, good album, his best work presented over here, hopefully. So let's just go ahead and check it out. XXX Sensation 17, first reaction, let's go. Okay. Listening to this album, you are literally, and I cannot stress this enough, literally entering my mind. Okay. And if you are not willing to accept my emotion uh -huh. and hear my words fully, do not listen. Huh. And not that it will help cure, but at least numb your depression. Oh. Okay. Thank you for listening. Enjoy. Okay. Great intro. Let's see what's up. Track two, Jocelyn Floors. The track one was called The Explanation, by the way. Okay, something soulful, something cheerful, I like it, okay? Come on. Not bad. This is actually good, okay. Alright. This is nice, this is dope, I like it, I like it. Nice track, very unexpected, soulful track. He's talking about you know depression, like stuff like that, teenage emotions, pain, and uh, let's just go ahead to track three: depression and obsession. Guitar. I I didn't hear this kind of stuff from him before. I don't know his discography that much, but before it was like abrasive, aggressive stuff. Now he's coming out very emotional. And that's definitely a good thing to do with his audience, you know. It's becoming more engaging. His fans are knowing what he's up to now, so that's good. Mm. Yeah, usually this stuff comes together. When you are in love and then you got broken hearted, depression, but you're still, yeah, you're depressed and you're still obsessed with that girl or a boy, you cannot get over it. Yeah, definitely can appreciate what he's going on so far. Yeah, again, as you see, like, first album and he's taking it seriously, you know, like, he's finally making some concept that this album is gonna be about. 
and it's already been about emotions you know he's like he he's inviting us to his brain and like to his emotions what does he feel and he talks about that you know like depression and obsession uh pain and stuff like that um which is pretty common for a teenager uh i'm a teenager myself but uh yeah i i'm fortunate to have a you know positive life and happy life i uh, at least I'm trying and um, it's but there are people of course that are very sad and yeah stressed out and, and that's okay that's okay it's our hardest period of time right period of the lifetime like the we live the most important decisions we had to do in in teenage lives uh, teenage years and it sucks but because you don't know what to do yet but it's okay we we got this we got this track four everybody dies in their nightmares <laughs> I actually like this, I'm enjoying it, and it's like fucking unexpected for me that I'm enjoying it. <laughs> because it's way, very different from his usual stuff. I was not a fan of the older work, I'm a fan of this though. Track 5 Revenge. That was his single, right? Yeah, it has like 23 million streams right now on Spotify. Pretty nice track, but I I was enjoying the uh, like previous uh, ones more actually. Didn't really feel the re track revenge, but it wasn't bad for sure. Track six, save. That's interesting that. Uh, this track and track 10 are the longest ones and it's only like 2 minutes 43 seconds. The tracks are very short. Hello, from the dark side in, does anybody here wanna be my friend? So save me. Save me. Yeah, XXX. Just X. <laughs> he came out very vulnerable on that track. Save me, like say man. It was like he had like a rock type of feeling. Yeah, I know that he's into rock and metal and hardcore stuff, and uh, he has those influences on his on this track, for example, uh, and uh, in his older music as well. But like, it wasn't bad. It, it was a good track, uh, in my opinion. But I wouldn't say that it kept me interesting uh, all the time, you know, sometimes I just like want it off and like maybe I was just like, you know, in the thinking process of my life and and it's okay, it's like it maybe as a background music, uh, it works, you know, to background music for like thinking, you know, uh, X is giving you like a food for thought and you're just thinking about other stuff and it, it was fine it was it was not bad track seven dead inside interlude i like the piano over here and the guy sounds nice i'm not sure if it's x or not but it sounds good reminds me of my g jordan actually if you know who that is uh, from the drake's label of your sound yeah, this one was beautiful. Um, I like this more than Save Me, but Save Me wasn't bad again, as I'm saying. The interlude was nice, very beautiful. Track 8, Fuck Love, featuring Trippy Red. Good beat. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Ah. <laughs> nice. 
I'm impressed with the production. The beat is so nice. It's just so catchy as well, and their deliveries are great. Definitely, like I think this is this stood out to me as like the track I would go back and listen to for sure because. Uh, because I love the melody, like it just all blended well. It worked out very nicely. The feature was dope, and X was good as well. And like the the beat, melodic, and just like it could it transferred well. The emotions and the melody was successful at its job, which was to deliver us their pain again, like about the love, you know, about the heartbreak. And they are saying, fuck love, you know, um, we don't need love, basically, uh, because how much pain we can endure more, you know, like, fuck it, you know. And it was, it was a good, it was a solid track, it was a nice track, I loved it. Track 9, Carry On. Rest in peace. Huh. I like what he did there with the vocals. It was like, oh, 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 rest in peace. Oh, track 10 Orlando. I enjoyed Carry On, it was so good. I'm I'm very impressed with this dude, like honestly I didn't expect that he can make melodies like that. And track 10 is not is seeming to not disappoint as well. The piano again, the beautiful melody goes on. And listen how he sounds, it's, it's quite dope, it's quite dope. Respect for this man, for sure. This is <sighs> wow. Then we have come to last track, track eleven, Ayala, outro. Again, piano usage. Piano was there. Guitar was there. Instruments was there, and he exposed us his talents, and this is so unexpected, like impressive. And I now after this album, I have much more respect for this dude than before because before that, he like to me he seemed like a complete asshole, and like with his actions, like he beating up. It's, people and his girlfriend even though he che she cheated but it's like it's not it's not really an excuse you know to beat her up on that way even though I couldn't I can understand it for sure yes it, it's painful I, I can understand that of course but still anyway after this though after this album like it's it feels like like my eyes are open you know on this on this man like this dude um he he pulled it off he i feel like a lot of people will be disappointed simply by the fact that this album is not what they used to listen from this guy because like like very hardcore feels like turned up music like uh and even though i like turned up music i just didn't enjoy his turned up music but this one um I can appreciate what he did here. He became like he showed his emotions. He showed his vulnerability, and, and being vulnerable, it works. And because it's rare these days that you know, like when you can be, you can when you can have like open discussions with someone. Like I mean, of course, I'm telling, I'm saying that it's rare, but for me. I, I'm glad that it's not rare because I love to open up with someone and just like talk about life and uh, you know I I'm I'm an open book and I I don't I don't close myself like that oh like oh, I'm shady as fuck you, you should uh, like 
not know anything about me. No, I I always like want to engage with people um, openly. And, uh, but there are a lot of people who are introverts as well, who like they find it difficult to open up. And we have a bunch of people who are basically closed and like they don't want to open up. And it's like, uh, that's why like we don't see their emotions, like their vulnerability. Uh, but everyone inside, of course, they feel something like they they go through bad times sometimes like life is not always great, you know, like, even though there are like, for example, uh, um, for me, like life has always like not always, but mostly has been positive. There was a bad moment as well. Like, like uh, I had a breakup as well, like last year and it's like I had to came over like, you know, I had I had to pass that uh, cycle and uh, the reason why I started this YouTube channel is because actually uh, I just love to react to new music and it gave me happiness because usually I was just all sad all the time, not really depressed I would say but I was very, I was depressed a few months at the beginning and then it got better but like it still didn't, it wasn't, I felt like it was something very I felt like it was empty inside me still like the second half was gone right like your girlfriend she was gone and like to fill this up like I needed just more happiness in my life and that's why this YouTube channel started actually and um, it works <laughs> it works and uh, I you know I'm getting a lot of positive vibes uh, just from doing this and like uh, juices from the life, like great, great things coming out. Uh, like Skrillex liked my video, or like uh, Galantis. I made a remix to Galantis song, and the like they commented on my video saying thanks for supporting me, uh, uh, us, Bob, and it was hella dope. Anyway, so we can all appreciate that X opened up, and then the, all people who are still close that don't really want to share their emotions they can understand that oh shit x is x opened up and like oh okay I, I it's relatable and you can you can appreciate this and you can enjoy uh his music you can relate to it and it's dope if you are disappointed by the fact that this album is in this way uh, not turned up music it's okay let the man do what he wants to do and uh for my perspective like uh, these songs are good they are not bad and it's a very conceptual concise album and production was good I liked it so that's my opinion hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel and uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one пока хайр ау фидерзейн арведерчи адиос чао чао амимуар хор офис goodbye Yeah, I can't relate. Uh.